Let's talk about how to use Oxflow Adjust on the Ox1 circuit. You can see I have the uh, shortcut set up here on the next gen monitor. If I select it, I can see I'm on tilt bucket and we can see a tilt bucket is set at 60%. I just return home and we look at our other shortcut which is work tool select. We can select different attachments and I'm going to go and look at hammer on this one. Select OK, look at back at Ox1 flow adjust and a hammer we preset at 90%. Now we're going to recommend 90% for a hammer on a machine at this size. However, you can change this percentage on the fly to 100% or down to 50%, you can change the percentage on any of the attachments that are listed on the machine. And once you change it to 50% and say OK, that is now saved on the hammer at 50% until you change it to something else. Now if we go and look uh, for a different attachment, because we have a thumb on this machine, I'm going to scroll down the thumb say OK and we're going to see what flow it is at, it's at 80%. Well I'm going to move that up the 100% because I like to work fast and hard and we're going to say OK to that. So you can see that we're showing a thumb icon on it. We're going to start the machine up we're going to go to high idle and we're going to roll the thumb That's at 100%. So I'm now going to go into it. I'm going to adjust it down because, whoa, that was way too fast. I'm going to take it down to 30%. Say OK. We still got a thumb. We're now running at 30%. High idle. And that is the thumb speed. at 30%. So you can change the Oxflow 1 adjust totals at any time on the fly, especially if you have the shortcut set up. And you can also put a second shortcut up here for the second Ox. If you've got a machine set up with second Ox and you can adjust those values in exactly the same way.